sawdust and chrome. Sawdust and chrome. Everybody loves sawdust and chrome. <laughs> <laughs> G'day guys, Moose here. Welcome to the garage and welcome to another sawdust and chrome episode. This one's going to be cool. We're going to restore an air operated pneumatic motorbike lift table. It's going to save my back. It's going to neaten up the garage a little bit. It's going to be better to store and we're going to return this to its former glory. We actually found this in a paddock through a mate of ours called Doc. Thank you, Doc. Um, that's it. Let's get into it. Enjoy the ride. Oh, don't forget, if you love what we're up to, do the like, subscribes, pass up, uh, spread the word. Let's grow our family. All right, let's get into it. Hey guys, Moose here, and now it's day two. Today I'm going to clean up uh, as best I can all the, I guess, all the components of the table. You're going to see me. I'm going to use a combo with my uh, my grinder and these special kind of wire brushes, heavy duty. This one's a little bit lighter work, but I'm also going to use my cordless with these kind of light duty wire brush wheels too. Um, my plan, my plan is to clean up all the surface rust, give everything kind of a once over so it's all ready for primer and paint. I'm still umming and ahhing. If I was a bit more cashed up, I'd actually send it all the way to get sandblasted and then it would go get powder coated and it would be schmick. But uh, for those of us who aren't flushed, um, I'm going to clean it up as best I can. I've got some two pack paints I might use. Um, but I might splurge a bit and get something powder coated. I'm not sure yet. But today we're just going to get filthy dirty and clean everything up. The best thing today at the moment, it's actually quite windy outside, so I'm going to do it outside. I'm going to wear my protective gear. It's up to you if you wear your dust masks or not. I've actually got a nice breeze going away, so I think I'm going to be nicely looked after by Mother Nature today. Um, that's it. Let's get into it. All oh, right, if you love what we're up to, please click all the buttons and the likes and everything you're meant to. On the comments, I love your comments. All right, let's get into it.
Hey guys, welcome back to Sawdust and Chrome, and this is not my world in Bay, we're here at school. Tell me teaching tech's not the best job in the world. Um, we're gonna make some running repairs on some of the metal work. The locking mechanism towards the, like the bottom of it uh, had a couple dodgy areas, so we're gonna fix it while it's all apart. It's silly not to. Um, make sure it's schmick. So just a little bit of welding and a bit of grinding. It's gonna be easy. All right, let's get into it. Don't forget the likes and subscribes. Good morning guys, welcome to our fourth session. We're back in the garage. It's the middle of winter right now, so it's super cold outside. So I'm gonna try and set up my own little, kinda temporary, dodgy, little spray booth corner. I wanna lay a bit of edge primer down today and I don't wanna make a mess of the garage. So I'm gonna set a little corner up. Um, again, if you love what we're up to, don't forget to subscribe, do your likes, spread the word. Um, that's it, let's get into it. Hey guys, it's the next day. Let's get some colour on. My plan is to do a combo of some hammer toned silver, which I can paint with a brush, and some satin black, which I'll spray, and I might add a bit of red for a bit of colour, a bit of pop. Um, the edge primer is nice and dry from yesterday. Everything worked out pretty good. I'm going to try my best to see what I can paint without making a mess of other parts that. It's, it's not a real spray booth, obviously, so I can't get to every angle and every side. So we're just going to wing it. But I've been doing it for years, so let's get into it. All right, peace and love. Good morning guys, Moose here and today is the best day. 
I love these days when everything we've painted, everything's clean, everything's schmick, but we get to put it back together. It's the best, it's like being a big kid. Uh, I'm gonna videotape it all, go nuts. I'll play some rock tunes for you as well. All right, peace and love. Must be dad joke time. You know, 85% of Australians are real bad at maths. I'm so glad I'm in the other 25%. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let me know. Back to work. I think that wraps it up. Uh, a few things we did to this, um, to our workbench. We replaced the seals in the rams. We, obviously now it's mobile, we got some caster wheels for it. Because we made it mobile, it's, a ten, it's an extra 10 centimeters higher than it used to be. So we extended the, uh, the ramp. So um, everything still makes sense. Um, what else did we do? Uh, we did a custom paint job and some awesome solar and chrome uh, promotion stickers. Um, mm. We did tie down points under. Yeah, we've got some tie down points underneath for our straps. And I think most of all, big thank you to our mate Doc who uh, gave us this for free. It was in his paddock. He said it's yours if you guys want to restore it. Um, so shout out to Doc. Thank you, mate. And again, if you've got anything you guys want to restore, you need some advice or you got something you would like us to restore, um, just hit us up. Lastly, thank you for being a part of the Sawdust and Chrome family. Please hit the subscribes, the likes, leave the comments, and um, email me some of your pictures of some of the projects you're working on. I'd love to see them. And I think that's it from me. Brock can have the last word. Peace and love. See you guys. Yes. Bye, guys.